Now, when it comes to streaming, uh, as a consumer myself, sometimes we come across two major issues. One is the delay. I remember that even if you're watching a live event on one TV, everything is there. On If you're on a smartphone, suddenly you are two or three seconds behind. Second is the quality. We saw sometimes the scenes are dark. I mean, as a media person, artifacts are created and then you don't really enjoy even if your TV is 4K or 8K and you are paying for one gigabit of bandwidth. Uh, so can you also talk about with VO360, how are you, and also as you, some of the sports events are regional but you also mentioned global so events happening in australia but people are watching in the us europe asia so how do you ensure this global uh, global latency as well as quality compromise sure i'm happy to, to start and then maybe jean can can extend but you know part of the enhancements that we've made uh, include support for low latency http live streaming or, or llhls um, when we deliver a live stream over the internet, it's important to break it up into smaller segments so that it can adapt to various network conditions and devices. This can be anything from inconsistent network speeds to saturation on a given network or even a Wi-Fi channel, or it could be down to dynamics on the device. Um, what, what chopping things up into smaller segments allows media providers to do is to adapt the latency of a stream based on factors like the network connectivity, the round trip time to a given location, but also to take into account the target viewer's device characteristics, things like CPU or memory capacity, so that they can always strike the right balance between a low latency stream, so it's happening very close to the live action, but also a streaming seamless uh, st uh, streaming experience so that you're not having rebuffering or errors during the stream. This will also, like going forward, not only improve the user's experience watching something and be able to watch a stream ideally closer to the live event, but it can open up new revenue opportunities for some of our media partners. Because you can imagine a highly optimized, low latency experience for certain velvet rope programs. You might have premier users, you might create a new tier for a given event, or maybe open up new monetization opportunities by having very, very low latency streams for a small segment of your users that you could charge a premium for and maybe enable other value added services on. Uh, and then the, the regular safer buffer period so that you could have maybe a three, four, five second delay for your average users so that everybody who might come in from a mobile device or from a smart television would always experience that streamless viewing. But if you wanted somebody to log in for a top tier, they might get a bite of the action a little bit sooner and that can enable you to do other things with your customers to monetize them. Jean, can you just you know talk about how do you ensure the latency issues or the quality issues that we talked about? Yes. So when I mentioned that we specialize in you know large scale streaming events with the best quality and reliability, but the quality includes uh, the latency. That's really an important uh, user experience factor. And so we've been supporting low latency HLS from the get go. Um, this, this is something that, by the way, is not trivial, especially when you combine uh, the low latency streaming together with the ad insertion that we do server side. The combination of the two, you know, with scaling up and down with your audience when you do, you know, ad insertion is, uh, is, is hard to do, but we've been doing that very efficiently at Harmonic from, from the beginning. Uh, the other thing I would say is that the low latency streaming, if you'd like, is like the application layer on top of the cloud infrastructure. And when it comes to the Akamai connected cloud, it helps that the networking performance in terms of latency is pretty amazing. So, you know, you can take one site on one end of the world, another site on the other end of the world, the latency there from a pure networking standpoint is uh, is very, very low. So that helps when you run on top of that at the application layer, a low latency streaming application.